What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the top five mods you should do to your car, but it's not for any car out there. This is only for the eighth generation Civic owners. So, and you know this, man. If you own that eighth gen Civic, you have hit the right channel today because today I'm gonna to give you guys a little secret. What are the top five mods you should do to your Civic? So, if you don't know, stick around and I will tell you. But before we jump into this video, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button below and hit the subscribe button. And also, follow me on Instagram too. I always like to drop a little gems on there for you guys about the upcoming videos, what I'm working on next. So guys, what do you think is the number one mod you should do to your car before you do anything else? Now, let you guys on a little secret. Do not buy wheels before you buy suspension. Now, that is the number one thing you should do to your car. Buy coilovers or Lawrence Springs, some type of modified suspension, aftermarket suspension you should buy for your car. Do not go out there and buy the wheels, then buy suspension. That is a big no. So always buy coilovers first. I promise you guys, you will get more compliments on stock wheels with lower suspension than wheels with a stock suspension. Guys, that is the first thing you should do. You should always lower your car before you do anything else to your Civic. I did it first. My friend told me you should lower your car before I go out there and buy wheels. Trust me guys, I have done that. I even did mine on hubcaps and it looked 10 times better than stock. So guys, the first thing you should do first before you do anything else, if you have an 8th gen Civic, is lower that bad boy. You don't have to slam it, just put some suspension on it. It can be coilovers or lowering springs. That's the first thing you should do. So the second thing you should do to your car, get yourself a nice pair of nice wheels, okay? You don't have to go out there and spend a whole lot of money, you know what I'm saying? I can't afford BBSs. Hopefully one day I will, but get you some nice, good wheels that will fit your ride the way you want it. Buy yourself some wheels. Make sure your wheels are all around season tires also. So if you're gonna think about driving these guys year round, don't go out there and just buy one season tires. Buy all around season tires. Get you some nice set of wheels. Don't have to go blow your bank. You know what I'm saying? You can stay inside your budget. Everybody has a budget when you're building your car, so stay inside your budget. Do not blow your budget. But once you blow your budget, all your other mods have to be on the whole list. You don't want that to happen. So go out there and buy yourself a nice set of wheels because wheels and suspension makes your car stand out even more on the road, even at the parking lot when you just get out of it. So that is the second thing you should do on your mod list. Now, now wait a minute. Start writing this stuff down because you're going to need it because when you be on Amazon scrolling or Car ID scrolling, any other website, make sure you get suspension, wheels. Remember that, not wheel suspension, suspension, wheels, okay? So that's the second thing you should do. Buy yourself some wheels and I guarantee your car will stand out. So what is the third thing I should do to my car? Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, this is the third thing you should do to your car. Listen closely. You know when you turn your headlights on, you see that yellowish color? That's halogen. Get rid of those. Get rid of those at the front and get rid of those anywhere else. Replace your halogens. Change your halogens to LED lights. Now, I'm gonna tell you why you should change your halogens to LED lights. LED lights are shine way bright on the road at night. It gives you a more brighter vision on the road at night. And it helps your overall performance of seeing at night because, be real with you guys, I don't even turn my brights on because my regular low beams are so bright and so powerful, I don't even need my high beams. And people think I'm running my high beams because my low beams are so bright. So that's what you do. Go get yourself some nice pair of new LED lights. Buy yourself some LED headlights. Go down to your local auto shop. They're always selling aftermarket lights. So that's the third thing you should do. Fourth thing you should have, you should do to your car. Now, listen to me closely. This fourth thing can be my opinion or it can be a fact. Now, I think you should do some type of body work to your car. Now, 
I think you should go out and get a nice paint job if, if you don't have a nice paint job. Now, a reason why I'm telling you guys this is because you everybody know what happens to the eighth generation Honda Civics out there. Now, you know they have a recall on paint. I've been saying this in my last previous videos, but you have clear coat problems. I advise you go get your car painted now, okay? This is why I'm this is why I'm telling you guys from the eighth generation Civic owners. I haven't met one Civic owner who has the eighth gen and didn't have any paint problems. All those cars have paint problems. So guys, go out there and save you up some good money. Paint your car out there. If you own an eighth generation Civic, if you don't paint your car down the road, you know what's gonna happen. And trust me, if you see my recent videos, it start, it's gonna start looking like clouds. So paint your car. Please paint your car. I know people probably in the middle of this video, I'm like, I don't even paint my car, my car's already painted. Well, that's good for you, but this is for eighth generation Civic owners only. So, if you don't paint your car, you will see what happens if you don't paint your car. Because I was a victim, and we all victims out there. Now, this one is gonna be like a, a five and a six put together because if you get these two together, your car will stand out, okay? So, it's gonna be like, not top five mods anymore, it'll be top five mods 2.0. So, the fifth thing you should do is always go out there and get you a exhaust system. Like change your headers, get you a exhaust, get you an intake, and you're almost at the end of the top five mods. But the last thing I told you guys, you get an exhaust system and a cold air intake. Now, I'm not gonna go in detail why you should get a cold air intake. I don't know the mathematics behind it. I've been reading reviews on you should not get one, you should get one, but I'm gonna get one and you should get one also and nobody can never talk bad about the exhaust. Now, guys, I live in the South and uh, they don't do exhaust laws down here like California, so you want your car to sound loud as possible, you have the ability to do that in the South. Now, I don't know about anywhere else in this country, but the South, we don't play that California exhaust law. Now, so get yourself an exhaust also for your car. I'm telling you guys, your car will look so nice sounds so nice looks so nice if you get all these things on the list like i was saying if you go on the internet and type all these mods in that i just told you about and fit it inside your budget guys you'll be on your way that's the last time i'm gonna say this guy i'm not gonna bother you guys anymore hit the subscribe button if you like this video you know what the deal is. Give me a thumbs up. Come on, please. Just give me a thumbs up. Do not subscribe to the channel. I ain't gonna say it again. All right, see you guys later. Legit is out.